Good afternoon, friends. This is Chris Haynes coming to you on this Tuesday, January the 5th, uh, from the First United Methodist Church here in beautiful downtown Lexington, Tennessee. Hope that y'all are having a wonderful day today. Just a couple of reminders for you that our office is open this week, normal hours, so if you have anything you need to stop by and uh, bring or, or pick up, just uh, feel free to come by during business hours or uh, call us if you need to. We will be here. And just a reminder as well that this coming Sunday, uh, we will once again not have in-person worship on January the 10th. Uh, we will be meeting virtually for at least this one more week and uh, then, then move on from there. But uh, we just wanted to remind you that we will be online only again uh, this coming Sunday. Uh, today I want to read for you, uh, go back to the book of Proverbs. I enjoyed our dip into Proverbs yesterday, so let me read for you again some of the practical wisdom that comes from this book. From Proverbs chapter 22, verses 1 through 9. Hear these words from the Word of God. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, and favor is better than silver or gold. The rich and the poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. The clever see danger and hide, but the simple go on and suffer for it. The reward for humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the perverse. The cautious will keep far from them. Train children in the right way, and when old, they will not stray. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is slave of the lender. Whoever sows injustice will reap calamity, and the rod of anger will fail. Those who are generous are blessed, for they share their bread with the poor. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Today, we continue to lift up those who are requesting our prayers. Uh, those include Danny Roy and Teresa Anderson, Eddie Sanders, Emma Prophet, Gary Morris, James Blowers, Janie Hopper, Kay Sanders, Mark Carey, Katie, and Houston Hayes, uh, Roger Williams, Sean Glover, uh, all of the unspoken requests of our hearts. Uh, we also continue to remember Bill Bobbitt, and Gary Pope, and Joey Wall, and Tom Riney. Uh, we also remember Kenneth Ross as well. And uh, we do have a number of unspoken requests at the moment. So uh, just for all of those, uh, especially with... Uh, some severe health concerns. Uh, let us remember them to God and pray that God will know their needs and uh, meet them in his wisdom and mercy. So for all of the, the needs of our hearts and for those we love, let us go to God in prayer. O God, Holy Spirit, come to us, come among us, come as the wind and cleanse us, Come as the fire and burn. Come as the dew and refresh. Convict, convert, and consecrate many hearts and lives to our great good and to your greater glory. All this we ask for Jesus Christ's sake. Together we pray for the people of our congregation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and those in trouble, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who strive for justice in our world, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all workers as they go about their work, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
for all of our government leaders, national, state, and local. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the church universal, its leaders, its members, and its mission. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all the communion of the saints, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as those in the body of Christ, we are bold to pray using the words that Jesus has taught us, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Look forward to praying with you tomorrow. God bless.